That imposter had the audacity to carry out her affair. What worries me more? Mission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. Uh, something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? <laughs> it's been... <laughs> I didn't lie to you. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the... Meaning? Meaning? Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you guys can hang around. The messages never get to the club. <sighs> I'm sorry, I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey, both of you. He's here. Hmm, right on time. That feeling, Kafka, it's welling up within me. That feeling. Resist. Let the Mara strike you. You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price. It's time. You think changing form will help you escape? Escape. I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You... You didn't even experience death. 
I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death. <laughs> Not on my watch. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Jing Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... You look so familiar. Look out! <laughs> Quit hiding. <laughs> Your true <laughs> self revealed. Stop! <laughs> you! <laughs> I have news for you, uh. boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Imbibed our Lune. Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice! I've heard of you in Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now sword heed me! I have no interest in stoking conflict. Save your excuses for the Shackling prison! Out of the way! Do not be afraid. <laughs> They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence! You're not getting away either! Is that so? Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara! So it begins. to hurt the boy. You're all in. I wonder if the others are okay. Gotta make this quick. Failed to send you. You two just won't give up. I only have one choice. So familiar. Did she teach you? Serve. No, can't delay any longer. I didn't wish to harm you. This isn't over. All of you listen to me. Stop. Well, Blady? I'm just clearing the stage for the group. <laughs> Jing Yuan. Uh, General! Many years have passed since the two of you... My task is... Mm. That it is. Thank you for assisting the Xianzhou in this small matter. 
General, I... Now is not the time. It has been a long time. <sighs> hmm. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Lunarescent depths, a realm of singular beauty. Scale Gorge Waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different. You know the Vidyata are hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not... <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. I hope you did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to... Before I can let... I may not be capable... You must do it. It is as I said. I am the general. <laughs> let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the express... You... You brought them here? Yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Your friends are waiting for you. Look, we need to help them. Heaven search. Quick! This is our chance. There's no time to lose. Here, there's thunder! My turn!
be broken. You, the sucker. Show no mercy. Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. This the Ambrosial Arp, Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife, then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author, and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express. Uh huh? I is that. Don Hung? You. you are Don Hung, right? It's a lot. So. you do? <laughs> Let us save, said my astral guests. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sien... However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members. Explore, on fear, risk. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here. Don Hung? choice is yours, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a- <laughs> Great! Everyone's just- There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm and on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make this under the direction of the High Elder, Ah, oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... Don Hong's brother? <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is... Until the current generation. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, 
The Lofu Viriadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. What happens next is in your hands. Joe heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Has coming here trick release your fault. I knew you. they may have been. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's. Imbibiter Lunay's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? Your name was only erased from the public eye. I was not born. Your appearance close.
The annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the arbor. The Lofu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Dantilia alone? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Xianzhou. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knight's attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general.
all remains as it did yesterday. dead for thousands of years and it figured now's a good time to come back to life
I'd rather go into battle than wait around in Realm Keep. Yes, you have extraordinary skills, and you earned her trust when you rescued her. You rescued her from the Marastruck. I'd say she's forever in your debt. If you go see her, I'm sure she won't run away. Here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the Vidyadra Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. I say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad-tempered escapes. This must be your first time on the Sienjo. It's a long story. The Vidyadra is one of the three races that established the Sienjo Alliance. Their bloodline is different from us Sienjo natives. The Vidyadra are born with great vitality. The gift of the permanence, as they say. That's all you need to know. A Dragon Lady isn't an official position. People address her that way out of love. The Vidyadra High Elder, on the other hand, is a position similar to a chief. It's been passed down from generation to generation. But only the Vidyadra that possess draconic features and inherit the Dragonheart can be successors. And Miss Bailu is the Vidyadra's future High Elder on the Lawfu. The rumor has always been that she can heal the wounded merely by touching them and shedding tears. She also studied medicine in the Alchemy Commission. That's why her other title is Healer Lady. Not imprisoned, exactly. Vidyadara customs are somewhat different from Sienjo native customs. Miss Bailu has incredible talents and is next in line to rule over the Vidyadara. It's normal that her people would want to keep a close eye on her. However, she also has somewhat of a free spirit. She always manages to find a way to escape her residence. Not it. However, it used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the Dragon Lady, we can't take her back anytime soon. I don't know if you heard, Someone locked down the Delves connected to the Alchemy Commission. Now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. That's what I want to know. I guess she sneaked out before the Delves were locked down. She might even know what happened in the Alchemy Commission. And those doctors came from apothecaries and other Delves. I've asked them and they don't have the slightest clue what's going on. I'd like you to help with two things. First, find the Dragon Lady and take care of her until the Alchemy Commission delves are reopened. Don't lose sight of her. The second thing might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara Struck. Like I said, we don't have enough people. The Dragon Lady is smart. If we try to keep her in the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery, she'll sneak out the first chance she gets. <laughs> Trust me, it's happened before. Besides, it isn't a crime for her to run away from her residence. And even if it were, given her status, we couldn't exactly stick her in jail and throw away the key. You're the only person we can turn to. Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. All the healer lady can do is slow the process. Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara-struck is more terrifying than death. It's an inevitable curse in the blood of Sienjo natives. The Sienjo has long had other methods. When Mara is about to strike, the spirit fairs and judges of the Ten Lords Commission promptly take the afflicted away. It's not something the Alchemy Commission should be meddling in. Mara is scary, but it won't cause any harm if you have it under control. We have the Realm Keeping Commission and Cloud Knights here in Exalting Sanctum. More than enough to handle any eventuality. However, 
The Dragon Lady's Mara suppression could lead to Mara Struck falling under the Ten Lords Commission's radar. If we let her carry on, we'll have Mara Struck on every street corner. People will panic. Seeing as we're already dealing with one crisis, we need to be extra vigilant when dealing with the Mara Struck. This is not something that can be taken lightly. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu Shen. As such, you'll also have the full trust of the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission these days. If you discover someone from the Commission on the hunt for the Dragon Lady, watch your step. And there's no other way. The Realm Keeping Commission will pay you handsomely for your help. So you are. And these would be Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? <sighs> You're the one getting excited. <sighs> my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance. Miss March, Mr. Yang, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan, give me the photos! <sighs> coming, coming, stop yelling! <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm, I see. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Which one? L let me see. Have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as. Uh, what was it again? Locha. His name is Locha. That's right, Locha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some. Sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name, something to do with coughing. Yeah, it was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. A coffin. It's a tool that certain non Shenzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. <laughs> I swear he said coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Xianzhou was squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing... Coffin. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu, each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Loch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? 
That's complicated. Come with me to the four square mirror. It'll be easier to explain. Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychrains stationed in the area. Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Ah, uh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're pretty smart. Sometimes. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because we have no idea what he did that day. The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration, and the data from that day before was badly affected. We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrogation. How should I put this? He just looks kind of... You were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... Exactly! Huh? Well, wait, that's not the point! Sorry. What I mean is... <clears throat> it's... Difficult to explain, but my instinct tells me this Law Cha is involved somehow. Apologies, uh, I realize this is personal speculation. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right, and there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you on this one. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Precise- No! What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the Foursquare Mirror. Jing Yan? You'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Uh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the Commission. Just help them check the Psycrean footage. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing, though. Don't approach him. If you make a discovery, contact me first. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The Express Crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint you. <sighs> Jing Yin, over to you. I need to get going. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
We may be new to the Sienjo, but we're already investigating the mysterious disappearance of Luocha! Am I? I feel pretty normal. Anyway, this case has really got my detective blood pumping. I need to get to the bottom of it. I've been familiarizing myself with the angler mystery lately. I think it's safe to say I have the best investigative mind on the express at this point. Mm, you have good taste, Miss March. The angler mystery is a classic detective novel on the Sienjo. I read it when I was young and dreamed about working in the commission ever since. I didn't think it would be attracting new readers over 200 years later. A oh, fellow reader! But Miss Ching Yen, the author, Su Fong, was the lead medical assistant in an apothecary, and the main character, the angler, is a healer. Why didn't you want to join the Alchemy Commission instead? Uh, a number of reasons. This job may be trivial, but I have my reasons for being here. Plus, <laughs> the threshold for the Alchemy Commission was too difficult for me to reach. Oh, I see. But your lives are so long! Shouldn't career change be easy? Mm, I considered it once. That was a long time ago. The longer I stay in this job, the more I understand its purpose. Fighting crime, helping the weak, solving the problems no one wants to touch. It's a satisfying feeling. Wow! Good for you, Miss Ching Yen. Sounds like you really care. I didn't think. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Mm. Oh, wow. Sounds like you really. Oh, we. <laughs> yep. I always dreamed of a head scratcher like this. A chance to showcase my detective genius. I've been familiarizing myself with the. Mm. You. I didn't. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Mm. Oh, wow. Sounds like you really care. I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us into a delicate situation. I'll treat you to some Sienjo delicacies later. <laughs> no problem. Let's get this settled first, though. I did want to say something, though. Um... I don't think Mr. Yang is the kind of person to make a judgment based only on instinct. Mm, it's not something I need to conceal from you. As you know, there are infinite worlds in this universe that can be similar yet different from each other in various ways. The same is true of the people on those worlds. That's why it's possible for us to run into individuals on multiple worlds who share an appearance, but not a personality. For all we know, in some faraway world, March's adorable face might belong to an intergalactic pirate. I'm the nicest girl in the galaxy. However, in most cases, their fates will walk a similar course. I've seen two people who looked almost identical to this Law Cha. They were not of the virtuous persuasion. That's why the moment I laid eyes on him, a chill ran down my spine. March is right. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But I can't overlook this. I don't want to force you into trusting my judgment, but... What are you talking about? Of course we trust your judgment, Mr. Yang. Right?
You're right. The key is whether the Realm Keeping Commission will trust a judgment based on this logic. <clears throat> From a Xianjiu legal standpoint, the Realm Keeping Commission is unable to accept a judgment like this. <laughs> it's not that we distrust you, Mr. Yang, but we cannot act on groundless accusations. I hope you understand. Of course. We raised the accusation. We will carry the burden of proof. I owe you two an apology. My... <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. I did want to say something, though. <laughs> Gut feeling. Mm -hmm. It's as you know. That's why it... However, in most, that's why... <sighs> what are you talking... <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me, truly. But the problem remains. Will the Realm Keeping Commission trust a judgment based on this logic? <clears throat> it's not that we... Of course. I owe you two an apology. Yeah, right. Anyway, since when did investigators shy away from delicate situations? I did want to say something, though. Mm, as you know, that's why it's... Uh, hey! <laughs> you... However, that's why... <sighs> Talking of course, crew members are always right. <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me, truly. But the problem, <clears throat> it's not the of course. 